Okay, uh, first of all is the uh, water spot and uh, how patch is working. So, for example, uh, I will open uh, one of existing patches uh, and I will show you um, what is it. Uh, I'm searching for some simple punch to start with. Mm -hmm. Most of my patches are complex, so <laughs> I need uh, some easy one example. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, it's uh, good enough. Maybe yes, maybe no. So we can start with it. Uh, as far as I know, uh, many people uh, fear to install patch manager, uh, fear to apply any patches, and. Uh, avoiding of using patch manager patches but uh, I see no reason in it uh, because patch is uh, just a uh, text file like this uh, it only contains uh, some uh, comments uh, which is uh, telling uh, patch manager uh, how to apply this patch and uh, uh, which lines of uh, system files to modify. So patch manager itself is just manager for applying and applying patches and uh, also uh, it contains uh, some internal uh, functions uh, to restart uh, system services uh, if patch requires it. So, for example, if you install, uh, I mean, if you apply a patch for modifying uh, home screen functions, uh, Patch Manager will suggest you to restart system services. So, if you click it, uh, system home screen will be restarted and uh, changes uh, made after applying patch will be applied. So, and after restarting system services, you will see. Uh, changes uh, which made by applying this patch. Uh, for example, uh, my patch uh, for uh, disabling uh, glass effect of uh, caller avatar uh, while uh, you calling someone or someone is calling you. Uh, to show how it works, uh, I need to open a uh, original file uh, and show you uh, how patch is applying and uh, how it modifying uh, uh, file it should modify. Uh, okay, uh, this file is modifying. Uh, uh, this patch is modifying uh, this file. Uh, I need to open it. Uh, I mounted my uh, yellow partitions to system so I can just browse it in my computer. I opened a file uh, which patch is modifying and the uh, patch itself. So, uh, for example, uh, look at these uh, colored lines. Uh, this application, uh, Sublime Text, is uh, highlighting uh, 
actual walking uh, lines of patch. Uh, so red line is a, a line which is going to be removed after plant patch and the uh, green line is a line uh, which is going to be added uh, after applying patch. Uh, this patch for disabling uh, glass effect of avatar uh, will remove uh, these uh, four lines and uh, will add uh, this uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine lines. Uh, uh, this patch is uh, very simple. Uh, it uh, just uh, replacing uh, system image provider uh, for making glass pictures uh, with uh, just a uh, path to original image. So after applying this patch, uh, this avatar image has a losing glass effect because uh, no effect is applied for this image. Additionally, uh, it um, adding uh, uh, default uh, geometry and default layout for positioning this image because uh, by default uh, it's set by using source size property which applied uh, directly to glass image provider uh, but after removing this provider, we need to set this geometry and uh, alignment options uh, manually. Also, in case um, image will be scold, up scold or down, down scold, uh, it should uh, look smooth. And uh, clip option, because we don't need to have a uh, image uh, too big uh, and uh, it will crop um, parts of image which uh, will not be visible on a display so uh, I will show you for example this line uh, in original file uh, is uh, at line 85 uh, you see this patch is not applied uh, right now in my phone uh, so starting from this line then uh, this line and uh, following uh, lines from this to this uh, will be modified after applying this uh, patch uh, so uh, please wait a little I will install uh, this patch on my phone uh, will apply it and uh, will show you how it will take effect on a phone file I installed it uh, and now I will apply this patch I will reopen this file uh, to see how it uh, is applied so now I need to set this line and you see uh, in file on the phone uh, no more uh, this line uh, line with this text but instead of this uh, patch uh, replace it uh, one line with uh, this new line also uh, the following lines uh, was also replaced so which is uh, how patch manager works uh, how um, content of patch file uh, was applied to system and uh, how 
uh, changes uh, from patch file was uh, uh, take effect of uh, file on your phone. Uh, so uh, I suggest you do not fear uh, to use patches. Uh, of course, if you read properly patch description, uh, maybe uh, known uh, bugs uh, and uh, also maybe comments of uh, people who already tried this patch because uh, you know. Uh, not only uh, me uh, creating some patches for selfish shows, but uh, many other people uh, also creating patches. So you uh, can't uh, always blindly trust uh, uh, every patch you, you see. So sometimes you cannot trust. Uh, people's creating patches, uh, there are some examples of patches which is breaking something uh, so anyway uh, each patch is just a modification to files uh, patch is not an application uh, consuming some uh, memory uh, disk memory, uh, operating uh, memory, uh, RAM um, also a patch uh, is not affecting on other parts of system uh, which is not touching by uh, not by just uh, after applying so patches only take effect of a uh, part uh, it's made for so if you're applying patch for uh, disabling glass uh, avatar uh, it, uh, it will not uh, affect of any other parts of system so only glass avatar of uh, calling UI will be changed also if you apply patch for uh, adding uh, notifications uh, adding uh, I mean uh, control stand uh, to notification screen it will not affect of to any other parts of system uh, only to events uh, view page and uh, I'm trying to always to create patches uh, which will not break something but uh, as you may know uh, on the latest selfish OS update uh, release not uh, there is a notification to use this to disable patches before update because uh, some patches are really complex and uh, sometimes it's safe to have a patch applied like with uh, simple glass avatar patch because it's only uh, changing uh, one single file uh, in just a few places but uh, for some other complex patches like uh, uh, event view patch uh, for example with uh, no, not this uh, uh, this patch uh, if you look into uh, this patch you can see a lot of files in uh, different locations is changed and uh, all these files uh, belong to different uh, packages of system so for example if you forgot to disable patches and uh, upgrade from a uh, last fish upgrade which is uh, 28 uh, to 29 uh, so in this upgrade only uh, lipstick uh, package was updated uh, which is containing uh, only these files but uh, uh, you'll uh, setting system package, YOLO system uh, or YOLO settings uh, networking and YOLO settings Bluetooth package uh, which contains files also altered by applying this patch not updated so if you forgot to disable patch and uh, upgrade uh, this part of patch will be overrided uh, to default ones but uh, 
next one which uh, is not altered uh, not overwritten by original files uh, while upgrading system uh, and after performing this operation you probably will get a non uh, responding uh, system because uh, is following changes uh, are using some changes made before and uh, it uh, now I think mandatory to unapply all patches before doing any upgrade even small upgrade like from 20 to 29 uh, dot number release number so it's same you 13 release but uh, it's a small release but if you forgot to disable patch your system will be broken so do not forget to disable patch anyway Uh, if you have some questions um, about patch manager and patches, you need to ask it now. So I try to answer any questions. Also, uh, we're trying to find a way to monopoly all patches ourselves. I mean, uh, modify uh, patch manager um, to detect system upgrade operation and unapply all patches before any changes will perform but actually it uh, not so trivial operation because uh, not all people are upgrading via uh, using system upgrade window under settings selfish shows but uh, some people using uh, so, so and the uh, version commands in a terminal command line uh, which is very hard to detect when upgrading this way is performing so in this uh, stream uh, I decided to make one patch uh, which uh, was not made before uh, my friend uh, gave me an idea for making this patch uh, please wait a little uh, I will connect uh, my phone screen we are line C viewer so I can show you what I want to patch and uh, you can see the result after patch will be made and applied well, my idea is uh, to create patch uh, for notification view to remove single uh, notifications from this list uh, not uh, with using uh, long press and uh, delete option but uh, just uh, by swiping this notification right and uh, remove should be fine also I'll try to add some uh, cool uh, animations so it will I think it should uh, should be similar uh, with selfish UI and uh, make some uh, cool fluent animations so why uh, I want to use a uh, right wine because uh, I have a uh, once you attach the uh, control center patch uh, enable it, apply it so with uh, left swipe it will interfere uh, interfere I'm sorry if I'm spelling <laughs> this word wrong 
with a uh, visit gesture to show control center. So I want to remove notifications just by swiping each eye. Uh, first of all, I want to add more notifications uh, on the preview stream. I created simple uh, example application for creating notification and uh, for receiving notifications. Uh, click it status for each notification. So I will use it for producing many notifications to event screen uh, to test it later when patch will be done. Uh, so we have uh, many notifications and uh, we can start. Uh, I will close this stuff. And uh, first of all, uh, so uh, you want to modify uh, notifications view. Uh, you know, uh, notifications view is a part of a uh, home screen, and uh, you know, uh, home screen is a yellow lipstick uh, home package. Yellow lipstick home uh, cute five package. So uh, you can get um, a list of files uh, on it by this package uh, with a simple command I'm um, sorry my phone was disconnect why was disconnect need to be connected uh, Okay, uh, I'm connecting to my phone terminal. Uh, so uh, we have a yellow lipstick uh, home to the five uh, package, um, and this uh, with this command uh, we can uh, know uh, all files. Uh, which is uh, providing by this package. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, lipstick yellow home name of package. So uh, in terminal you can see a list of files from this package. So uh, now you can see uh, having see you uh, files are stored in uh, this folder. Uh, now we opening this folder in a uh, file manager. Uh, I uh, mounted my yellow storage to my computer, so I can just uh, click with mouse. You can do the same, and you can copy the file to your computer for from phone, so it doesn't matter. Uh, first of all, I'm suggesting you to find a file which is actually contains uh, this page. So we know this is page because it contains a pull down menu. So pull down menu is a part of page. Uh, also we have key there. So we can use it for searching actual uh, file and the actual place we want to patch. Also, we know this is a list, so we are searching for some list inside of some page, which is also contains clever uh, information. Okay, uh, searching from by names, I mean searching by names, we can see two files, event feed list and the event view list. We want to look uh, first of all because it contains some lists. Okay. Looking into, I'm sorry, looking uh, into first file, uh, when find list uh, showing us some column uh, with some model inside. So, um, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we're looking into this file and uh, searching something about notifications. Uh, 
but actually it doesn't contain notification it only contains uh, some events and uh, contains component for posting uh, status for notification uh, I'm sorry for accounts like Twitter etc uh, so looking into next file okay it contains uh, notification list view uh, we need to know what is it uh, notification list view uh, it should uh, uh, be placed here so if we don't see this file here uh, we should look it into import sections so I don't think this file will be into whatever folder so uh, we'll search for this file and uh, notification subfolder on upper level. So, okay, going here and the notification list view uh, showing us uh, silica list view. Okay. Um, This view containing a uh, list uh, for notifications. Maybe it is uh, what we're looking for. And uh, we look uh, more into event view list file. And then maybe search for Viva. Okay, uh, it also have a Viva loader component. And uh, it placed uh, right. Uh, after this page, uh, this, this view started, so it is on top, uh, which is correct. And uh, next uh, should be placed uh, content because uh, this row is placed on the header. So in list, uh, we have header, uh, content, and uh, footer, but uh, this list have no footer. Uh, also about menu, I told before. Uh, have menu so and uh, it is a same menu I'm sorry I closed it uh, it is same menu we're looking for so it have a status available and available uh, uh, presence uh, clean notifications refresh update option so this file is correct and this file is uh, what we're looking for Okay, uh, these uh, items are list delegates. Uh, uh, also, I didn't say it uh, for making uh, patches, uh, which is uh, modifying uh, QML files on the system. You, of course, uh, should have some maybe basic uh, coding skills for QML, so you should understand uh, which is components. Uh, is a uh, uh, which component is uh, uh, sorry I want to say uh, you need to know uh, how each component uh, is looking and uh, as well as uh, uh, how this component is uh, displayed on uh, on screen uh, which is it component uh, means uh, in the internal uh, QML components names. So this is list, this is header list, this is pull down menu and uh, how to search is, uh, how to search uh, with components in the QML files. So uh, this is delegates, uh, delegates uh, of list uh, uh, but uh, this file only providing some basic information of uh, notification view so probably delegates uh, describe it uh, inside the parent notification list view component so we're going into this notification list view component uh, looking searching for delegate here is delegate item is a default list item uh, which is uh, containing uh, context menu which is showed uh, using long press uh, action 
here is a menu and uh, menu is short only for user removal uh, notifications so no this is actually is a behavior of notifications to you so for example if you have uh, update available notification for selfie show so for yellow store you cannot remove it because it is not user removable uh, you only can click on it uh, install updates and then notification will remove itself so this is correct and uh, uh, I can confirm uh, this is actually the, the file we are searching for so we will use this file for making notifications so next important step is backupping this original file uh, so if you change it a lot and uh, forgot what you changed you can always uh, replace it with original one and uh, revert all change all changes you made yeah, I'm creating new folder uh, it will be I will name it uh, as a package name which I will make in the publishing upon repos later uh, I will see you uh, swipe remove ok uh, also myself I am using uh, git uh, for creating patches automatically uh, and uh, I will show you how it's working and uh, also I will try to show you some uh, uh, other way to create a patch without using git so uh, I will place this patch in uh, two folders to work later. Uh, first of all, uh, as I'm using it, uh, I need to init a uh, new tree in this folder and uh, commit original change. Okay, I committed original file so it will uh, be used later for generating patch file okay uh, now we can work again with the file on the file system and the mic uh, what we want to do so we want to make a swipe action for notification so swipe right with notification to uh, perform remove operation uh, now we need to look how uh, remove operation is performed so the only action inside menu is uh, remove uh, so we're looking into menu uh, this is a context menu component uh, here is it so it's uh, function remove function remove ok it is easy uh, situation so we can just uh, call this remove function later and it should do a remove operation without any more modifications okay uh, now I uh, need to think uh, how to make uh, these items notifications uh, how to make them swipeable so by default uh, list uh, items delegates have no swipe ability so it left on the menu you can click on it to remove but you can uh, make any swipe action on it so um, again uh, I'm telling you you uh, should have some QML basic skills or at least have uh, a lot of uh, learning possibilities so you can open q 
HTML documentation. I read it. And uh, uh, now I will open uh, help reference. For QML item. Okay, uh, this is QML item uh, reference. Uh, just I know we need this reference because. Uh, Okay, I'll show you. Uh, delegate is list item. Uh, I will open some uh, delegate. Okay, uh, I will change this to list item just to show you uh, what is it. List item is basically background item. So. Uh, and background item is basically mouse area, so clicking career. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we do not need item, we, we need a mouse area. Mouse area. And the uh, mouse area component uh, contains cool uh, drug uh, property set, uh, which uh, uh, which is used to drag uh, items while we holding uh, our finger on item. So item should be dragged. Uh, I think we uh, want to use this behavior to make uh, our item swipeable. Okay, uh, I'm adding some drag actions here. I'm adding more lines here and uh, uh, I need some properties. Uh, I need drag target, uh, drag axis, and uh, drag axis uh, will be just a horizontal axis. Uh, where is it? Uh, something wrong. Uh, Access, um, access here, uh, x axis, uh, and uh, as it x, uh, x axis, we need uh, just a uh, uh, minimum x and uh, maximum x uh, properties also to set. Uh, first of all, uh, I will show you uh, why I think uh, drag is uh, what we need. So I will set uh, drag target uh, to itself. I mean to this uh, item delegate and uh, drag access uh, to uh, this value. And uh, I do not make uh, any more deprecations for now. Uh, I will uh, restart home screen. And uh, we will see how uh, our changes is uh, take effect on the ends here. I'm unlocking my screen, so we will know my unlock combination. Okay, uh, now uh, we're holding finger on notification and uh, okay. Uh, holding too long and we can swipe it uh, right left so now we can uh, swipe it uh, for remote notification uh, I need to swipe it right okay so like this uh, swiping it right uh, releasing finger and the uh, remove operation uh, should be performed. Uh, so, uh, for doing this, uh, we need to set uh, uh, minimum and the maximum uh, x properties. So we do not uh, want 
to swipe this item left. So it should not uh, be moved left. So it should stop on a zero position. And uh, when we move finger more left, uh, it should not uh, be moved itself. But it should. Uh, uh, it uh, should. Uh, it should be moved only in the right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry if I'm explaining something uh, not very clear. So uh, this is a stream, and uh, you can uh, ask questions, and uh, I will repeat something or show show you something I missed or forgot to explain. Uh, so uh, now we need uh, to set. Two more properties, minimum X and uh, maximum X. So I'm just copying it here. Uh, uh, minimum value should be zero. So uh, coordinates of uh, X uh, property of this item uh, should be changed from zero uh, to uh, screen with and uh, should not be negative so less than zero and uh, should not be more than a, this list uh, view width so I'm setting minimum uh, to zero and uh, setting maximum uh, maximum uh, to uh, width ok uh, it should work now to uh, have some limited X properties so it should not be dragged to negative and uh, too far to the positive side ok uh, now I'm trying to swipe it right it's swiping with no problem and uh, it uh, not swiping left so if I'm swiping it left it uh, just uh, swiping page not uh, swiping notification okay this is what uh, we need also uh, we need to detect when uh, this drag operation is ended so uh, remove action will be should uh, have been performed after we release finger when swiping right uh, but also we need to cancel this action if we do not uh, drag uh, this notification uh, far enough or we want to cancel it, uh, not to remove this notification and put it back so this behavior is, is uh, also should be handled uh, for this uh, operation uh, I will also use a uh, drag property which is an uh, active property so uh, in the reference uh, we can see yeah, scroll it down. Uh, where is it? Uh, active here. Uh, active uh, if the target item is currently being dragged. So uh, we need this property, uh, but uh, not uh, the property itself. But uh, we need a notification when this property is changed. So we'll use uh, it as a uh, drag uh, active change it uh, sorry on active changed uh, and uh, this uh, signal uh, should be called after dragging started and uh, after dragging ended so just uh, right when uh, dragging status is changed from 
dragging, not dragging, and from not dragging to dragging. So uh, we need to check it. So if uh, drag active, uh, but uh, just not active. So uh, this uh, will be executed right after we drag it target and uh, release it finger so first of all uh, we need to decide uh, some threshold uh, which should be uh, which should be used uh, uh, to detect if uh, this item was uh, drag it uh, right enough and uh, when we release the finger in uh, this position uh, and this notification should be removed or uh, it is not enough and the uh, notification uh, should not be deleted and the uh, position should be restored to zero okay uh, I think uh, half uh, of uh, uh, width of this list is uh, two uh, more. I think uh, third or fourth part of this width uh, should be enough. Uh, let's use a uh, third part. So uh, I will check it in this way. Uh, if uh, x uh, more than uh, with uh, divided to three, then delete. Yeah? Uh, delete. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then delete. Uh, and else, uh, it should restore. Uh, restore. Uh, we know uh, what to do. Uh, X uh, should be set to zero. Uh, and uh, in a delete operation uh, first uh, x uh, should be set to width so notification should uh, uh, sorry notification should be moved automatically uh, over the screen so it should disappear and uh, then uh, remove operation should be executed uh, so uh, we need to set uh, x to it uh, to hide it from screen then we need to call uh, remove uh, right here yeah, remove function remove function and then uh, yeah and then it should be removed so if i did it correctly uh when we dragging this item and uh, releasing finger if we drag it right enough uh, it should be removed and uh, if uh, we drag it not enough or this way not enough released or if we drag it enough but then I change it um, our decision and uh, don't want to remove this item and uh, move it, it left uh, back to original position uh, nothing uh, should be removed just if we do not uh, move it uh, left enough it just uh, should restore its original position to zero so okay uh, let's try to restart home screen uh, and change uh, I'm sorry and uh, see if it's working okay it uh, will end it uh, opening events here and uh, now I am dragging this notification to right releasing finger uh, okay disappeared uh, removed uh, okay something went wrong okay at least it correctly Restoring it initial position, at least uh, half <laughs> of changes are working correctly. 
Okay, ah, okay. I, uh, I know why uh, it disappearing. So, um, it should uh, show uh, remote, uh, removal animation, but uh, as we changed X uh, property to it, it's uh, not visible on the screen, but uh, with remote uh, shown inside item, so it also showed uh, not in the, in the screen, so we cannot see. So we need to set it back to zero actually after showing remove animation. Uh, so we can see this animation and the cancel it probably. Okay, it lied in again. Okay, open current view uh, and the trying uh, swiping it. Okay, yeah, removing, tapping cancelled uh, again, uh, animation removing, and the uh, notification removed. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this uh, when C uh, is not so smooth. Uh, I think none of these options is actually working mm, and can make it work faster. So I'm talking in t uh, because. I want uh, to add some cool animations, uh, you know, to make it uh, look better. So, uh, on the phone screen, I see how it uh, uh, just jumping uh, this position from one. Uh, from all position to new one and uh, no any notifications so it doesn't look good enough and uh, I need to add some animations so uh, first of all uh, basic uh, part of patch is working uh, so uh, I can say uh, it is working correctly, uh, but I need to add some advanced stuff, uh, and probably uh, I can't explain it properly. Uh, I mean, the future changes I will make, but uh, if you do not understand it, uh, you ask questions, and uh, I will try to do my best to explain what I'm doing. Uh, so. In my opinion, uh, the best way uh, to control uh, animations uh, in this case uh, is using uh, states and uh, transitions. So we need a state. Uh, and the transitions. Uh, states uh, uh, will contain uh, normal one, uh, maybe dragging one, and uh, removing state. In the transition, uh, which is animation, so transition will contain animations. Uh, it should uh, be done only from, uh, when changing from uh, dragging state to normal state, so returning back to original position and uh, when uh, uh, removing notification, so changing from dragging state to removing state, uh, so it should uh, change position to off screen, uh, then start uh, removing 
and uh, then uh, restoring position to zero to show this uh, removing animation. Okay, I need a state, uh, free state, and uh, two transitions. Okay. Uh, state uh, three states uh, I need names first is a uh, default second is uh, dragging and the uh, last one is removing And uh, I need two transitions. Uh, transition, transition, transitions. Uh, transition, transition. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, this way. Okay, I will use a uh, transition uh, performing automatically when state changing uh, using uh, this way from two and uh, invoking animation. Uh, transition one, transition two. And I need from two properties set. Uh, first transition uh, will be performed when changing from dragging state to uh, default state. And uh, second transition should be performed uh, when changing from dragging to default. Transition. Also, I need to set uh, default state uh, to default <laughs> value. So it will be set on the component creation, uh, and uh, should fill uh, these transitions uh, with animations. Okay, for default transition, uh, just will use a number animation. Number animation uh, target targets uh, for animations for all animations uh, will be delegate itself. Uh, property, I'm uh, sorry, I clicked it by my hand. Uh, property is X. Uh, it should be set to zero. And the uh, duration would be uh, 500. Okay. And the uh, second transition should contain uh, three animations performing uh, one uh, then second after first one and uh, third after second one so it should be a uh, sequential animation uh, this one so animations inside uh, this uh, animation containing uh, all animations uh, are performing one by one uh, which one after uh, ending previous one so I need this uh, animation uh, name, uh, copy it here, and uh, just one. I need to set property smoothly. Uh, I think we need to make it uh, to move to right more fast. Uh, to it 
and uh, then we need to call uh, remove operation uh, we actually can do it using uh, animations itself uh, using uh, script animation with a special animation type uh, right for executing uh, some code when this uh, fake animation is executing so script animation is just animation uh, which is executing some script mm. Sources to check is it uh, what I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it is a script action which uh, also can be used inside a sequential animation so it's just a script action and the script uh, should contain some javascript code uh, here uh, okay And just for scripts, uh, I can use this uh, remove function. So I will just set uh, it uh, this way. So remove action will be executed after um, automatically moving uh, this uh, notification uh, out of the screen. And the uh, next one I need to set property uh, x to back uh, just to show this animation. I think I can make it also with a script uh, because we do not need uh, any animations uh, in this case. Just to set x to zero. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, we also need uh, to set uh, status. Uh, to make this animation, so uh, we do not need uh, this property set uh, actions like this. Uh, here we need to see, uh, set state uh, name to uh, one we need, uh, and uh, everything should be done uh, automatically because we have. Uh, transitions assigned to state changes. Uh, also we need to control with dragging uh, state. Uh, also we'll use a uh, status uh, for this. Uh, this state uh, can be automatically set uh, using uh, when uh, property. So uh, setting when property uh, with some condition uh, should set uh, this state automatically it should be when uh, drag active so when drag is active uh, state will be automatically set to dragging and uh, when we release finger uh, state will be set to one of these uh, depending of uh, this condition so remove or set to back to default I'm restarting a home screen again to test changes okay, I'm on 
unlocking my screen, uh, opening Kevin's view. Uh, okay, it is not working uh, because uh, I said something wrong or uh, something is set in a wrong place. Uh, this is a good example uh, how to check what is wrong. I can show you. Uh, now I'm connecting to my phone again. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm connected to it. And uh, I need also privileges. And uh, using uh, journal uh, cartel uh, command. Uh, uh, using uh, lipstick uh, binary executable as a parameter we can get uh, output of service started in background uh, don't know uh, what wrong uh, lipstick I'm sorry here we can scroll it uh, down the last error. Okay, here is a, a default a QML errors show it like uh, when you're developing some application. Errors like this uh, will be shown inside your output console if you don't uh, something wrong. So current error is a uh, uh, here. Uh, seems I, uh, I'm using transition uh, wrong uh, expected token ah, okay uh, this is a list of states this is a list of transitions so we should separate it from each other this way Okay, uh, now we want to use fix it. Uh, I will add some more notifications to the screen. To test it. Yeah, start faster. I don't know why it's starting so slow. I think it should start fast. Why are you not starting? Okay, it started. Uh, I'm adding some notifications. Here uh, we have. Okay, it started twice. Here we have more notifications to test. Ah, okay, it started again. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we dragging it. It automatically drag it out of uh, screen. Uh, remove operation performed. And we uh, seen it. So, uh, property set to zero. Property X set to zero correctly. And if we drag it and decided not to remove this notification, drag it back. Everything is okay. And uh, if you drag it back, not enough. Uh, it restored it in its shell uh, exposition to zero. Uh, now we can uh, test, uh, make stress test for this patch uh, doing this. You see how easy to remove notifications now. You can remove many notifications uh, very fast. But <laughs> actually, I understand this is not behavior. 
we want to test because we have remove everything option but just a way to do it better uh, also probably uh, I want to uh, decrease our uh, duration of these notifications because I feel it slow uh, and I want uh, transitions animations to perform faster Okay, uh, I think no, modi no more modifications uh, needed for this patch. So, this patch can be released. And uh, just the last uh, test of uh, transitions speed. Just the test, it is working like. I want okay good notific uh, sorry good uh, animations with a uh, good speed okay I'm just doing some fun with removing call notifications it looking cool so uh, changes done but uh, now we need to make a patch uh, to make a patch and uh, also make a package uh, to release it inside an open repos and uh, make uh, Basilica happy you know you should always uh, release everything to open repos because uh, when uh, Basilica is happy uh, he is uh, making more updates for open repo site for the house and uh, probably the uh, house will stop uh, lagging in next version so let's make Basilica happy let's make patch from these modifications so uh, I'm using uh, git for generating patches because uh, Git uh, using the uh, same uh, structure for generating uh, changes from commit to commit and uh, it uh, can be just reused for patch manager ok, uh, now I need to copy this file to my Git folder replace it uh, I need to commit uh, changes patch done and uh, I need to generate changes from this commit to file I'm doing it automatically using uh, git caller inside uh, Linux uh, I feel it very uh, suitable for me so now we have uh, this generated file, generated commit changes let's rename it to uh, default uh, patch name so uh, all patches uh, which you want to use uh, in patch manager should uh, same uh, should have uh, same name uh, unified if uh, so I'm just copying this name from here uh, pasting it here uh, and uh, we'll look into it you see uh, all uh, modifications I did now generated into patch file uh, and we need uh, just one uh, manual modification to this patch file uh, to be able to uh, apply it uh, inside patch manager uh, Uh, this notification, oh, I'm sorry, this modification is uh, changing uh, 
folder to search uh, those uh, destination I mean files which should be patched uh, for example this uh, existing patch uh, contains full uh, path to uh, a file uh, but uh, prepended with a uh, summer uh, identification symbol so we should not touch it uh, we should not uh, we should just uh, make uh, this path uh, full uh, to file uh, looking into this place uh, I'm just copying this part of path uh, and pasting it uh, to all places here 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 and last one here so you see now we have a full path uh, to destination file which uh, should be patched um, now uh, we have a patch uh, ready to be packaged uh, to patch manager uh, but uh, I'm closing it but uh, we have uh, changes uh, already performed uh, in a file inside the phone so uh, I have uh, one more uh, backup of this file uh, I'm copying it uh, I'm replacing it mm, on the device so original file uh, I will write it uh, change it file so now we have no I have no, notif uh, no modifications of notification screen and uh, we can continue uh, and now uh, I will show you how to make a patch uh, without using a uh, JIT. Uh, so we have a original file. Let's uh, name it Oric. And we have a modified file. Uh, we should copy it uh, inside the same folder. Sorry, uh, uh, both files uh, should be placed in inside the same folder. Uh, uh, and uh, for this operation, uh, uh, the easiest way is uh, to use uh, a div command uh, inside the terminal. Okay, uh, I can open terminal inside the uh, Dolphin here. Uh, so it uh, open it right uh, inside this folder. And uh, command uh, you can see uh, command we will use here. So it will be a diff. Um, original file uh, then uh, modified file okay uh, we have a div here but uh, it will not suitable uh, we need a, uh, okay some options uh, uh, not this one uh, I need to try to uh, remember these options uh, ok, this option is correct uh, it might be some more options uh, no changes uh, the last option which is suggesting by google ok, 
uh, it is also not needed so we just need a uh, u option uh, and uh, we need to save it to file uh, let's name it like it should be uh, this way uh, here. Uh, to file okay uh, patch generated here and uh, in this case uh, we also need to modify uh, path to uh, original file which should be patched so in my case I just uh, can copy this uh, from here to here and uh, we should not use any prefixes here just uh, different lines and the uh, patch is done uh, using uh, two ways using uh, terminal command and uh, using uh, using using a git I'm sorry um, okay we have a patch um, and we need to package it uh, to be used into patch manager I'm using a uh, selfish as the key for packaging file and using it direct, uh, directly inside the uh, virtual machine uh, I mean I'm connecting to it and executing a command so uh, I will copy some file just on file I need uh, and also we need to create a JSON file for patch manager so I will copy these two files here uh, I need to copy patch from here to here uh, I don't need this one uh, okay here uh, I will need to write description of the patch uh, which uh, will be shown uh, inside the patch manager so it is a uh, event view uh, notifications notifications uh, swipe close event uh, uh, view patch uh, adding uh, swipe uh, right to um, Rename it. Uh, right right to remove uh, notification. notification. Okay, uh, following is correct for me. So it is a home screen patch, and uh, I'm as a maintainer of this patch. Okay, next one. Uh, I need to using this information uh, for. Uh, uh, spec file uh, which is using for uh, making package uh, okay uh, I don't need this one uh, I need the name of package here um, like this uh, where is my remove everything uh, I'm sorry replace everything button okay I need uh, just a patch Folder and uh, I don't need this one. This is from my other patch, and uh, this one is also not needed. Okay, uh, this is correct. I uh, just need to copy this uh, to the same positions inside this big file. Uh, also, uh, one maybe the right way. Uh, while uh, we didn't make uh, changes for page manager to enable uh, patches during uh, 
selfish upgrade uh, is uh, using fixed uh, version of lipstick package uh, we can get uh, lipstick version uh, using terminal uh, for example this uh, comment will show us uh, an exact version of lipstick package so uh, this one is a version uh, using a qual uh, we'll set uh, on the version this patch uh, will work so if you upgrade uh, patch uh, I'm sorry if you upgrade a selfish uh, this patch package uh, will be removed automatically but uh, patch will not be unapplied automatically so we need to uh, copy this I need to copy this but uh, you will need to use this manually uh, commands uh, to remove patch automatically uh, while uh, removing package of this patch or while uh, upgrading uh, package of this patch to newest version so when you uh, will install a new version of this patch uh, old patch will be automatically unapplied and the only you need uh, is a uh, open patch manager and uh, apply a new patch uh, version okay uh, we have a spec file uh, we have a patch json file so now i need to uh, build it uh, i'm connecting to my uh, build uh, machine opening project folder uh, and uh, building it ok uh, packaging is done uh, let's check everything is correct uh, ok not this folder uh, it is uh, here uh, this uh, patch oh, I'm sorry this package for patch manager uh, was created it contain patch uh, json and uh, patch file itself so I'm copying it to my phone to uh, test it uh -huh. I copied it and um, now I will install it manually I'm installing patch uh, you see when I'm installing this patch uh, everything uh, was ok so now I'm uh, opening patch manager uh, I have a shortcut to patch manager here ok opening patch manager uh, I can see uh, this patch uh, I just made I'm applying it ok patch installed uh, we can also have a, one external notification we will also uh, use later for testing this patch and uh, now uh, I'm using restart preloaded services to uh, reboot home screen uh, to actually uh, make changes to uh, home screen uh, to notification view uh, to be uh, to be used because uh, uh, while home screen is active uh, all changes uh, you will made to QML files will not uh, have effect 
because uh, our files are, are already loaded and uh, uh, they will not uh, be reloaded uh, if you just uh, modify your file so uh, that's why uh, you should use uh, this uh, restart option ok uh, with notifications application is again lighting too slow and just uh, ok it lied. I'm generating more notifications ok patch is applied so it should work now. this way this way it's working ok I do not want to remove this notification do not want to remove this notification and I want to remove uh, these three notifications ok and uh, patch is working uh, package is done uh, and I'm going to upload this package to open repos now